A foundry, in a, in a general sense, is a place where you melt and cast metal. And what we do at MIT encompasses a wide range of applications in, in melting and casting metals. We support faculty research. We do artistic casting. We do experimental alloying, sample preparation. And we also teach a lot of material science concepts through the lens of the foundry and foundry science. I came to MIT as an undergraduate in 1947 and uh, joined uh, graduate school in 1951 and undertook my research uh, under the uh, then professor of uh, foundry here at MIT. Metal casting, of course, had been a part of the curriculum, at least, uh, at MIT since its founding. In terms of a laboratory of significant size uh, uh, working on foundry problems, that came only just at the end of the Second World War, when a materials processing laboratory uh, was set up, spurred by the fact that there was enormous opportunities and enormous growth in this country in the basic uh, metals and materials industry as the country now moved from a wartime standard to a standard uh, of civilian production goods. And MIT responded to that need with strong educational and research activities in uh, that uh, uh, area of technology. I think the most important thing about the foundry is that it does give the students an opportunity to see the things that they've been learning in classes in a real way. So they may have learned about heat transfer. They may have learned about solidification processing. They may have learned about the flow of fluids through different pathways. And that's all in the foundry and in the foundry practice. And not only do they see it, but they do it. And I think when students get that hands-on experience, the classroom material really comes alive and they learn it more effectively. I'm a second year graduate student and my research is on uh, tungsten metallurgy. Um, and so working in the foundry is relevant to my interests because what you do in the foundry is cast metals. And that's one of the most common methods of processing and, and shaping metals. Hands-on laboratories are an essential part of uh, uh, any engineering education. And, and the best of these laboratories provide uh, students the opportunity to innovate uh, and create, and even sometimes to make uh, real things. In my research, I work with samples that have a mass typically like one gram or less. Um, and in this foundry, when I cast metals, I'm talking about casting pounds of metals. So it's a very hands-on, visceral experience when you're cradling uh, like five pounds of molten bronze ready to cast. And it definitely is in line with MIT's motto of mens et manis, getting your hands dirty in the foundry. In one sense, the foundry looks like home uh, to me, to see the, the metal and the, and the furnaces. But I must tell you, in the good old days, we had a lot more space. And for that reason, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, the expanded space that we expect to have as we, uh, as we move. And I think it'll be a great thing for the department and a great thing for MIT because it'll put the foundry in a place where they're more visible and they're more accessible to students, both for academics, research, and hopefully entertaining or fun projects.